The Infinix S5 Pro is a really good smartphone with a 6.53 inch HD IPS LCD display. A smartphone with 6GB RAM, 128GB internal storage, and it uses Android 10 and MediaTek Kilo P35 chipsets. And it has a 4000mAh battery. But this device still misses one thing. To find out, make sure you watch this video to the end. And this is my Infinix S5 Pro review after one week. Do make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on notification to be the first to know about my new exciting content. The device comes in great design. Holding this device will call attention to you because it has a fine glossy build and it shines really well. The design feels really premium in hand and the feel is always tempting to touch. The device comes in different colors. The color of the device I have here with me is a violet color. Checking out the device. On the right side, you see the power button and also the volume rocker. And on the other side, it houses the SIM and the SD card slot. At top of the device is where you see the 40 megapixel front camera that comes out of the device. We will talk about this soon anyways. And below the device, we have the speaker, the charging port, the microphone and also the headphone port. This is just a normal kind of design from Infinix smartphones, except for the pop-off camera which is new. There we have the triple camera setup which shoot out from the body of the device which causes the device to wiggle on its flat surface. Having a camera bomb that doesn't shoot out would have been cool but applying the protective case that comes with the device would solve that problem for you. But if you are a type that doesn't love to use case on your device then you should be ready for some wiggles. And lastly on the back there is the fingerprint sensor. The front of the device has a display which is the next thing I'll be talking about. There is a 6.53 HD IPS LCD display on this device. It has a 1080 by 2040 resolution and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. I have used this device for a while and I must say this display is one of the best ever from Infinix Mobile. I am not talking about the size here, I am talking about the responsiveness and the fluid feel. Well, the chin below the device is not really big and to me it feels quite unnoticeable. While using this device, I realized the device responds well to touch and even goes brighter outside under the sun. It's just that the screen brightness doesn't seem like it goes down enough while using at night. If you feel the device is too big for your hand, you can only switch to the one hand mode which Infinix had installed on the device. You can watch 1080p movies on this device with no disturbance because there is no notch or cutout on the display and thanks to the pop-up selfie camera. I really love a device with full display but I'm just a type of person that I'm not a fan of pop-up cameras. Now let's see the camera angle on this device. At the back of the device, we have a triple camera setup. We have a 48 megapixel main camera, a 2 megapixel for depth sensing and also a QVG lens. I have taken some pictures with this device and trust me the device performs well, especially under good light condition. The picture you are seeing right now on your screen are the pictures I took with this device rear camera. And after that you will see the pictures I took with the front camera. By default, the rear camera take pictures at 10 megapixel, but can only switch to the 48 megapixel for more details when you take pictures. The device gives chance to record and take images in different mode. This camera will do justice to all of your pictures and it will do well for your social media images. There is enough storage for you on this device, but if you feel like you need more storage, you can add an additional storage by using a SD card. The device has a 128GB internal storage and a 6GB RAM. And trust me, it does well because I have used this device for about a week now and playing games does well and even surveying the internet and watching movies and doing every other thing on your smartphone performs very well on this device. The device uses a MediaTek Hello P5 chipset which keeps the device working excellently even after a long time of usage. Switching apps works perfectly on this device and it will not show any lag at all. When switching to dark mode from the normal light mode on the device, the device might restart some apps at least to apply the dark theme across the app user interface. Infinix added some cool features to this device, which includes DTS for boost and sound quality. Also, 
Infinix added a WhatsApp mode which makes restriction to other apps from using data in the background. Infinix also includes a screen recording feature on this device. You have the chance to select your preferred navigation gesture as well. Thanks to 110 and excellent version 6.0 screen, you will also have a feature on your smartphone called Social Turbo that mainly works for and with WhatsApp only. Unlocking this smartphone works very well with the fingerprint sensor at the back of the device. With the fingerprint sensor, you can unlock this smartphone even within milliseconds. Another way in which you can unlock this smartphone is by using the face unlock feature. Well, this is not my own thing because I'm not a fan of pop-up selfie cameras. But the pop-up selfie camera works very well while unlocking smartphone, whether in the new light condition or in a brighter light condition. While playing games and watching movies or playing music on this device with the speaker, the speaker feels really cool. I think you should hear what the sound feels like. On the S5 Pro, as a 4000 mAh battery and it's not really the best but it's meant to stay up while using the device across all sections which include switching on the internet connection with all spots on and using full brightness. But if you can keep this off, you will add more to the duration of the battery capacity. A letdown of this device is having a micro USB 2.0 instead of having a Type-C port and no fast charging feature because while charging this device it took me about two hours to charge from 0% to 100% which is not the best to me well my overall experience with this device has been great and believe me when you own a device like the s5 pro you'll be getting the value for your money and definitely you will have no regrets considering this device as your choice Thanks for watching my video, do make sure you subscribe and turn on notification and I will see you in the next one. Peace.